finally yeah sorry about the, uh, the mess up i'm just uh yeah apologize for that I don't know what... that's all right i caught you at a last time when we were trying you were just gotten back from italy it was a lot probably going on right yeah some, you know i'm pretty much around i'm just uh i'm just sometimes I can, I'm, I'm just a bit you know i forget and um, i'm doing something else like today i was i had to go and um do a uh rehearsal for uh I'm playing on um, Thursday to some Charlie Charlie Watts tribute thing at the City Winery. Oh yeah, uh, the I, one at, with the one in uh, is it now at Pier? Uh... No, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's over there. It's like on the on the, on the river, and they're they're doing a kind of tribute to Charlie Watson. Charlie Watson. Uh, I'm singing, and Willie's singing, and. A bunch of people, you know, so I, I was there all day. I didn't know whether I'd be back in time because I was supposed to be going to have uh, something with Willie, but um, he's just flown in. It's his dad's 104th birthday. Yeah. And he just uh, was out of town, but I was going to see him. But uh, but everything's cool. I'm, back, I'm, I'm, I'm totally around now. That bodes well for Willie Nile. He's <laughs> 104 years old. That's right. I said to him, we should, we're going to book his 100th birthday at the City Winery. Book it now. Yeah. <laughs> whether he shows up or not oh a shih tzu right i don't know it's just kind of it's not it's my girlfriend's dog there's this oh. one and then there's this this fucking <laughs> just yeah this one here. i'm a dog i'm a big dog big dog guy oh that's a beautiful dog wait that's so yeah, sweet I mean, they're my girlfriend my girlfriend and you're you're in brooklyn i am yeah are you bed -Stuy? where are you yeah why do I remember that? Um, I'm I'm not in Brooklyn. I'm in, uh, although I live there a lot. I I'm in now. I'm north of the city a little bit. I've taken a break just because it's been decades, mate. I have been yeah. I needed a break. Yeah, I don't blame yeah. you. And uh, well, you know, um, so but I worked at some, to remind you because I think I mentioned this a long time ago when I first reached out to Joy and then you is that when I was I worked at Sony Music. Did you? Uh, you back in the there? 90s and into the what's that? Yeah, what did you do? There? Oh, I was just a cog in the corporate cartel, <laughs> just a little middleman, a Weasley uh, role. And it was like I worked in the create actually, I, it's not true. I worked in the creative department, the creative services. So I worked with the art directors and the you know, on, on, on the package designs. I didn't do the designs myself, I kind of was the go between, uh, for like, um, you know ultimately to get the graphics uh, on 
marketing materials on on their uh, website, you know, and did a few different things there. But you don't, you, was don't, like, you, know, you don't know John Jackson, do you? Yes, I do. Right on. Yeah, of course I know John, and and you know he's in one of my favorite bands. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's done well for himself. He's a great guy. I've known John know. forever. You know, he was a big Wood fan, and uh, yeah. I saw it. I met him like 15, 18 years ago. Oh yeah, right on, man. Right How's on. that? We have visuals. Yeah, right on, man. There you go. This is That's where quick. I was introduced to you, and then you know, I what happened was I listened to it. and I said he's not going to last on 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 Sony. He's too he's too uh, talented because <laughs> you know you had to have the. <laughs> I don't. I mean, they had a lot of great musicians, but I mean Bob Dylan. You've heard of him, right? Yeah, he's pretty good. He, he's he was he, he he has your endorsement. So he he's you know, but I'm thinking unless you're like you know lucky enough to either been a recording artist and built up this years back then they would, you know, take their time developing an yeah. artist. Right now you have one or two chances at best. Yeah, and very so much. I've seen a lot of artists over there, and I would say this guy's fantastic, and. Yeah. Um, and then like uh, some time went by and I was like, whatever, I put this out of my collection. I'm like, I got, oh, I the, I, he's got to have more albums. And I was looking and, and I was looking and I was like, probably what isn't his real name, right? So I found out who you were. And then I started with getting this, the other one. So that's no, how I, I don't. Well, so I, I, I've, I've caught up a little bit with some of your music, you know. You're a bit behind the date, man. I've put a lot of no, records no. out since then. That's a little newer, a little bit a little newer. newer. Yeah, yeah. A little. Wait a minute, which is the newest? Well, my newest one is uh, uh, Little Bird in the Neighborhood. But I, I, I've got, um, if it don't fix, don't break it. I've got Insanity versus Humanity. There's probably three albums as well as the ones you've got there that I put out after that. Oh, No Time to Cry. I got four oh. albums out after that lot. Oh, my God. Well, after all these? Yeah. Man, I, I, you're so freaking prolific, James. And that's a good place to they're start all, from. They're on Spotify, so you can find them. There. I know it, but I'm uh, I'm all, with artists like yourself who I really have a fondness for. And uh, so, I so tell me your address, and I'll, I'll put I'll put them in the post for you if you want CDs. Uh, now, nobody, everybody, anybody who's watching knows I didn't. I wasn't going there. I was happy to buy them, but I, I will. I'll send. I'll send you my. Uh, sure, I'll do that. That'd be lovely. I yeah, love your do. music and I love your performance. And but how 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 is it? Um, some people and you know who they are. They put out an album every few years, and it's a pain. It's a, it's painful. It's a, it's agonizing for some of them, right? Because they they and yet you're. It doesn't seem you're so hung up on. How did you uh, become so prolific? I mean, you really managed to. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Have a I great mean, output. Are, 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 you know, when I look back on the Wood period, I mean, a brief synopsis, you know, would be I had a bunch of record deals in the eighties and nineties on English labels, and then right. I don't really think there were any good any of those songs. And then I then I wrote some songs which I thought were actually pretty good, and that became the Wood album. And then when um, when the Wood album was kind of when I got dropped from Columbia, I went through a period of about um, maybe seven or six or seven years. I wasn't really writing anything that was any good, and then I kind of got back into my stride, and then put out the Avenue C album in two thousand and nine, two thousand ten under my own name uh, and from then on I've been fairly prolific and uh, I, I kind of just been able to you know I just kind of hit my stride a little bit late in life let's say and like last week I, this past month I've written like 10 more songs and I'm ready to do another record so I've just been <laughs> I've just been lucky that I've just I've just been able to figure that out you know I don't know how I don't know why or how I, I, I haven't dried up yet just put it that way. And so tell, okay, so I, I'm sorry if these are very cliche questions. I, I because as I, somebody who's kind of dabbled in it in the past, I, I have a, you know, I'm just curious what your process is. Because, um, or do you just like walking around, do you get little hooks or ideas for songs? And then what's your if it, process? If, it, if it's anything, it's essentially just sitting down with the guitar. Uh, having some time to myself uh -huh. and spending time with the guitar and letting my mind drift and just play 
and see if anything comes through the ether, you know, and then uh, uh, many times it doesn't, but sometimes it, you, it, I'll come across something that um, entertains me and think, I think, oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, 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 and then I'll just keep kind of, while I'm in that moment, I'll try to flesh out as much as I can. And if I'm lucky, at the end of like an hour or something, I've got the, the, the essence the, of the song. The foundation of a song. Yeah, or, which, then, which, which is generally, I mean, to be honest, that could just amount to a verse or an, 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 a melody. I don't even mean a, a chorus. Uh, so it's little building blocks and then I'll go back to it. And hopefully during that process, uh, as I'm playing, a, a phrase will come into my mind, right. which, which will help me give, get a title for the song, right? And if I've got if I've got a title, uh, I will. That really helps me open up the, the door for the song. If I right, because it gives you an idea of the theme, or or uh, yeah, yeah, like up. Uh, right, I got it. And also, uh, also, there's a there's a kind of inbuilt energy to the song itself, which can excite me, you know, like uh, I, that will inspire me. So it's two or three things going on at the same time, but I, I, I you know, I just do that really. I, I just sit around and play. There's no, there's no magic formula for it. I just, but I just need the time to be on my own and I will spend hours and hours and hours every day trying to find something. And some days nothing happens. Right. And then other, other days uh, I'll get something that I really like. And then I'll put the guitar down and I won't pick it up. I won't write again for, for another month or something. You know, it depends how I feel. I'll try, but I can tell when nothing's going to happen somehow. Um, and, and is putting a capo up a few fret, a bars rather, few yeah. frets rather, capos, can that help? Because you get a different sound, right? Capos, can bring... capos yep. help. Um, also, uh, tunings, I'll try dad gad. Right. D -A -D -D -A -D That's the D-A-D, tuning, right, right, sure. I'll try that and I'll capo on, 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 on the, you know, up on the neck to get a different, to get a different thing. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I bought this guitar called a Griffin, a Griffon, which is like a high strung 12, str 12 string guitar. Yeah, I think I've seen I, you play it. Yeah. Yeah. And I wrote, I've written loads of songs on that. You know, that, I found that really inspiring, you know, to, 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 to write with. Uh, I, I must have written eight or nine songs on that, maybe more. Just that helped me uh, just kind of go to another place. And you also, I mean, you also play a lot gig a lot yeah. right this I last year to. right the, the the last year or two has to be have been really really yeah difficult it's been difficult I, i've been able to survive by unemployment you know i got unemployment and also i did some gigs yeah. online which people were very generous to me and helped me uh, you know raise money fr from from that i'm very fortunate in that i have uh, you know a small but very uh Key, active, you know, very, very active social media. I, I, I know I'm on your a couple of the lists, so right. you know, um, and I'm I'm enjoy the, the 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 love that you. It, it has to be very nice because um, people will take little videos and stuff, and you seem to be just you know really enjoy enjoy that. Like you know, I, I, I can't you know having fans is so amazing. Having people that care about what you do yeah. is the hardest thing in music to achieve and so i i very much value the fans and i'm honored and I, I, you know i try to treat everybody great i really really love the fact that they come out and spend their money on the gigs and i always try my best on the gigs you know i always give it everything i always try and do my best at it on the live stage try and sing it as good as i can and try and play it as good as i can i never coast i never like take it for granted i'm always really trying to deliver the song as best as I can. And uh, obviously I have a great bunch of musicians around me with Aaron and Drew and Ben and Brian Mitchell sometimes and uh, Andrew Carrillo, various musicians. You know, my band are always uh, amazing musicians to play with. So uh, I, we try and do a good show and I try and do my best all the time when I play. Well, I, can't, I uh, you know, you bring a, so much great 
tr- energy and pre- stage presence with you whenever you play. And, well, you know, it's a bar room. You're like a bar room musician. It's like ultimately, mm. you know, uh, and you could go pretty big. I mean, because of the sort of the style and, and the, the, the scope of the songs and your and your performance, like you could play in much larger venues. How has that been in the past? Like, have you what's the biggest type of venue? I'm not talking. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could be uh, some sort of all-star kind of, you know, show or something, or maybe a solo. What's the biggest venue? That I think, you know, when I, when I, did, I opened for Paul Weller once at the Royal Albert Hall in London. Oh, wow. That was, that was a when big was that? show. When was that? It was great. Yeah, it was great. When was it? When was that? Oh, I don't know. I reckon that would have been 2002, 2001, okay. something like that. I did a tour with him. Um, and then, you know, I've done, uh, opened for people at various bigger places, but nothing really, nothing really amazingly, you know, not, nothing much bigger than a few thousand people. Yeah. And that's obviously opening for people. My, my own shows, uh, you know, I'm, I'm lucky to get a couple of hundred people to the shows, you know, but it's hard to, it's very hard in New York to get above this level of two, it's right. very hard to get from say 200, 200 up to 500. I understand. Right. Very difficult to make that to make that jump. Leap. And I don't, right. yeah, I, don't yeah. know how, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean you would do it, I assume. I mean well, you, you, need, you I'll tell you what you need. You need a lot of money because you need a PR right. company. And a PR company is going to cost you four or five thousand dollars a month. And you're going to have to have that for at least six months. And then there's no guarantees that anything will come from that. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. <laughs> you don't have to laugh it. that fast. It's possible. <laughs> Could happen. Yeah. You know, man. If I did, though, I certainly would because uh, I I feel like you're sure 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 thing. Um, well, yeah. Um, I I just get it into my head that like you know I a certain artists uh, I I just you know I say God I, you know and then I start doing this more mostly going back as a film. You know, I've had I've had a few people on you may have heard of. And then, of course, but my my I think even maybe more, you know, like nobody's listening if I do this, but no, you know, I, maybe even more uh, closer to my heart, maybe even the musicians, because when I when I when I'm by myself and, uh, you know, uh, uh, and um, the things that move the, the times I'm the most moved is is with when with music, the most, you know. And um, so you're one of those guys, uh, and I'm very grateful that I discovered you. Um, you. And you introduced me to Joy Askew, which, you know, I, which I, when I fell in love, uh, yeah. that voice, holy crap. She's, she <laughs> is so fantastic. Her album um, that she did last year or the year. Oh, yeah, on, what, too. The Queen Victoria album. Oh, you know that so, one? with the horns, the horns, right? Oh, She's like, amazing. Has, yeah, she was able to bring horns and make it into this thing. And I, I know she she recently injured herself. I was, I was like yeah. I actually wrote her and I was asking oh, how well she was done. doing because she tripped. She she's yeah. she's recovering. She she fell over in the street. She got uh, like a, a tra- her legs got caught up in her trousers. <laughs> okay. And she that'll, fell. that'll happen to the best of us, you know. The, she, yeah. She fell and well, she you're fell. you're right. Your of course your instinct is to put your hands out, so you're. I mean, and she fell and she broke her hands and her wrists. Oh, and her, what a it's nightmare! A, it's a real catastrophe. But she's on the she's she's on the mend. I mean, she's she's dealt with it extremely. Uh, she's very upbeat about things, and she'll she'll make a recovery. But I mean, the last oh, yeah. thing you want to be doing as a piano player is to break your your wrist. I your... was chopping a vegetable. You know, you can see right here. You can see I I play a little, but um, and I was just the stupid. I just was like whacking for some, you know, when you're chopping vegetables, you're supposed to do that kind of close yeah. up right into it. You know, there's a style for it. And thank God you have the nail was, you know, you have a fingernail because I actually probably would have cut off. This happened about a month ago. I would have cut off a little piece of the tip of my finger and I played guitar and I couldn't play for a day or two. But fortunately, it was this finger and it was the, you know, it was the cord, my, you know, the, the fingering. It wasn't the strumming hand, but. Yeah, but that's terrible. Uh, yeah, it was terrible for, for, for a couple of days, but I, I was able to fortunately heal pretty quick. But if the nail hadn't been there, even though I cut off part of the nail, 
you know, but it, I was thinking it would have been worse if Danielle hadn't been there, you know. I don't want to hear about this. this is I know, very, it's very, not, I know, I'm sorry. I'm the same way, actually. I don't like to hear people's, like, I always, I have a lot of empathy, but I don't like to hear of the actual, like, there was a nail on the ground, and I'm like, stop. Yeah, Just stop. stop. I don't want to hear it. I, I don't like thinking about people's pain. No, I'm looking Are there, away. What do you do, uh, uh, and tell me if you've got to run, because I, 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 I'm not going to, we can do no, maybe right. two. Okay. Um, what do you do though? Because it just seems with the how much you write music and how often you perform, uh, you know, given a good, good time where there's a lot of that going on again. Um, like what what uh, what other ways do you, or what other, what other things do you do? Like you know, you've got to find inspiration. You've got to find things that are going to expand you as a person. Uh, you know, I, I kind of don't. I don't... I watch television. <coughs> I read books. You know, I hang out with my girlfriend, oh, and we go and do things. And uh, I'm I'm one of them guys that is just kind of a one trip poet. You know, I I practice the guitar. I'll play electric guitar at home. I'll uh, I'll you know, I'm always trying to think about songs. Really, I, I'm always just trying to write yeah. songs. Yeah. Trying to come up with a song. And I'm not really, I'm not really good at anything else. So I don't really play any other instruments. No decoupage, no decoupage. No, no I don't even know what that means. <laughs> that, that's when you wrap things in newspaper. You just wrap up everything. You know, you've seen it where it's you take regular household objects and you wrap newspaper around them, and then you. Uh, it's, oh, like papier mâché thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. Yeah, Maybe I'll get into that. I'm not. I'm not even no, don't. No, don't do it. And then next thing you're going to come out on stage with your guitar wrapped in paper mâché. It's not. I don't recommend it. But okay. <laughs> well, what? Tell me about Italy because my parents. You know, uh, my dad just died last year, but what? Um, but they would go every year to Italy. They're Jews, New York Jew. You know, Jews. But they that was their uh, home. They loved Italy and they have all these friends. We would go to, uh, they go to this place called Sperlonga, which is a small Mediterranean town, ancient town, nice. at, about 40 minutes from Rome, you know, uh, nice. right near the Malfi Coast. It. And they would go every year. That would be their vacation. They had friends and they would go to Rome. And what's your, yeah. you, you go, right? Do you go frequently? Yeah. yeah. Uh, about 10 years ago, I met this guy called Andrea Parodi, who uh, is a musician out there. And he was friendly with this guy called Paolo Carew, who runs this newspaper called The Buscadero. And they wrote a really glowing review of a record that I put out, the Live at Rockwood. And uh, on, off the back of that, um, Andrea said, why don't you come out and do some gigs? Uh -huh. And he organized that for me. And I've been going ever since every year or sometimes more than once a year. Yeah. For a couple of, couple of three weeks. And uh, I've been, I had to go with, yeah, I went with David Imagluck a whole bunch of times from the Counting Crows. That, that, I don't know if you know, he plays a mandolin and guitar with the Counting yep. Crows. And then I, I've been, uh, there's a musician out there called um, Alex Ballet who plays with Francesca Di Gregori, who's a big deal, big deal out there. And I, I've played with him. And then the last few times I've been going with Brian, uh, I was talking to Brian Mitchell, uh, um, who was a piano player from the Wait, from the Leave on Helm band uh, a few years ago. And he was saying about how much he liked Italy. And I said, well, why don't you come with me? And then me, he, he and I have been going, we've been like three, three or four times. And we go out there and we, uh, we play it's it's not like america or italy there's not really venues like like you would expect so you kind of sometimes like the last few gigs we played they were they were all outdoors so you go into like a piazza and there's all tables everywhere it's oh, sure. chairs everywhere. And, oh right and you're outside and that's that was a beautiful trip and uh, yeah i've got a lot of fans and a lot of friends out there and uh, it's a it's one of the greatest things i've ever done is to cultivate that and have that as part of my uh, life and uh, the Italian people, you know, are wonderful. And Italy's, it, I've been fortunate enough to go, you know, and it's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful country. And uh, I, I yeah. try to go in the summer. I've been many times in the winter and it's not quite so much fun because it's, uh, no. it's, it's like it gets dark at five o'clock and cold and everything. But sure. Yeah. The food is shit though, right? Well, <laughs> Kidding around. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, so, sometimes it can be a bit. 
you know, it can get, sometimes you get to the gig and all they give you is like cheese and cold meat. Oh, and, yeah. And you can, they, they'd lay that on a bit thick. And then after about four days. It's healthy. Like, it's Mediterranean. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You won't make any, let me tell you this, Adam, you won't make any money there. They don't, bloody, they don't pay no dough. You're not going to get rich. Right. Unless you're Bruce Springsteen and then you make a fortune. But the, re the rest of us, we're lucky to get paid. Uh, speaking of which, um, have you have you met have you met, played have you had an opportunity to meet him? Well, I had that kind of thing from him that uh, he used my music in the walk in his walking music, and uh, in his I what? wrote. Um, he used the Wood album in like you know music. You know when he when before he comes on, he plays music. Oh, people oh gotcha. right. yeah, yeah. Walk in. Uh, it's called, gotcha. it's called I, walking. Okay. Right. And he used some of the Wood record, and I wrote to him. And uh, he wrote back. I've got a I've got a letter from him on the wall over there saying, "Hey man, you know I love the Wood album, and uh, if you ever get the chance to come and come to a gig, come backstage and say hello." And I, I did. I went back and met him, and he was really nice. And since then, I've kind of been on stage with him a couple of times at uh, the Light of Day, uh, which is that Parkinson's charity in in, right. in yeah. Asbury Park. And, I mean, I've seen uh, Willie on stage with him. I've seen, uh, I saw, I know that they, so I, I've seen that uh, on videos. I mean, I've never, you know. Um, yeah. Willie, Willie's a, Willie actually knows Bruce pretty good. You know, they yeah. go back a, a long way. I don't really know Bruce at all, really. I no, mean, I'm not, he kind of knows me, but he doesn't really know me. So, and I don't, I'm not, I'm not the kind of guy who's going to push myself into his face you know no because there's a lot of people who would do who are in that category right who you know i mean it's, it's i don't even know how you operate at that level frankly no. um i mean he's asked to come on my podcast i don't have any interest in that uh, no, but, have him on. He's, he's very I'm, very funny just kidding i mean like um uh, i uh what well, is there anybody that you would say that you just given in your travels i guess um that that you know you were just so thrilled to meet and it doesn't even have to be somebody of that you know level of fame or anything i'm just curious to know like who who turns you on like and it may not even be you know somebody who i would see the influence on i mean you know you never know it could be somebody i don't know whether i mean I, I, I mean i i mean i do i've got so loads and loads of heroes yeah so many people that i really admire uh, so many. I can. I, I could. I mean, if, if I just say, a lot. I used to love the Eagles. So Don Henley, somebody like him, I would love to. Just One of the speak. great rock and roll voices, right? I mean, as a singer, see for me, yeah, for me, like that guy. Just I would like just listen to. I love to listen to him sing. But I would oh, get yeah. his solo albums because I just love the. I love his singing. Oh. You know, like Boys of Summer and and. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, I like you know, and I'm you know, I'm a huge Joe Walsh fan. I loved love Joe. I'd love to meet Neil Young. I mean, I could you know Bob Dylan. Uh, oh, a big Steve Forbert fan. You know, I love Steve. Forbert. I just I had him on the. Show. I just had him on. I think I emailed you that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I oh. love Steve Forbert, and uh, you know, there's so many people that I yeah. that I. I think are amazing. Paul Brady, you know the Irish songwriter. I do. I, I again, I don't remember. I think through Bonnie Raitt's music, she was uh, she Bonnie played on Wright. her mix. Oh, he heard yeah, he played on her. I think yeah, Paul Brady. I, I I heard him through one of her '90s albums. Yeah, I like what his. I bought Paul Brady's albums. He's a, a great great uh, singer great too. Singer. And, yeah, and amazing. Bonnie Raitt. You know, you right. just think about her. I mean, I got to meet her once, and she was. Oh, she was at Rockwood. And oh, my, my at the, the East Village, but or yeah, Lower East Village. And, and my, she was sitting with my friend, and then um, somebody got up, and he went, "Sit down, sit down." So I sat down next to her, and she turned around and goes, uh, 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 "My mate introduced her. Hey, this is James." She went, "Hi, I'm Bonnie." It's like, <laughs> how, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know, she, she's a, a, a huge, great, you know. Love, love her. She's incredible. A lot of my heroes have died, you know. My yeah. big, my big heroes, Louis Armstrong, who I was, you know, and uh, Nina Simone, Ray Charles, mm -hmm. these kind of people that uh, are just the greatest ever. So they're all dead. Right. Yeah. Um, 
well, you're, so you look, just say, say what's coming up too. So we, so, so I, maybe I'll even time this with that. You know, if you, are you, are you, I mean, it seems like you're always playing, you're one of the regular guys at, uh, you know, City Winery, of course, so. which is a really. I hope so. I mean, I, you know, I'm very, very pr proud of being able to be a part of this New York music scene and to know so many great people like today. I was at City Wine rehearsing with uh, Tony Shanahan and Rich Pagano and Sean Pelton's going to be there and Mark Bosch. And then uh, the, uh, this week I was with Will in Ireland, uh, Jimmy Vivino and uh, oh. Uh, oh. Will Lee and all these, these amazing people who I, I kind of got to know through being in the city. Um, so... Uh, I'm going to do that thing with them on Thursday. This Charlie Watts thing. The Charlie it's Watts, fun. right? And that, again, that's at City Winery in, in the city. That's on Thursday. Yeah. This Thursday. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll, maybe I'll put this up then before then because people could. Yeah, yeah. Get I mean tickets. that's. And I'm playing New Year's Eve at City Winery as well. Got a uh, a New Year's Eve show eight o'clock oh. there upstairs. Now, did Winery. you did you like shove Joseph Arthur out of the way for that one? Isn't he? He's a regular guy. He's another guy that I also for years would was I love, he's and very different style than yours. Yeah. There is a there may be a vortex where you got, you know, in terms of influences, perhaps, you know, stones or something like that, somewhere where there's yeah. like a yeah. yeah. Uh, just 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 before I let you go though, but uh and and James, really thank you so much. I mean, it's your it's like I met a hero today myself. Oh. You're very you know, kind. I, Thanks for asking me. I'm sorry I made it difficult. I wasn't trying to avoid you. I was just, you know, I'm just it's okay. Old I just, I, it's hard because, you know, it, we had a number of times where I just like, I missed the email coming in and I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. easier to... My emails aren't great. Sometimes they don't come through, you know, for like an hour. No, they do. Something. They did. No, no, no. It was fine. It was just that, you know, I checked when I, by the time I checked back, you were already moved on to the next thing just out of, you know, uh, whatever you know, uh, and I, 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 I sometimes it's taken me months to book somebody, so don't feel in any way bad about that. I don't. It's water off my back. Um, what was I asking? Oh, I just curious. When, when did when so when did you move here? And um, what is your? Uh, can I see your uh, green card? No, I'm kidding. But wh wh when did you move to the states? When was that? When did you make that decision? I, I reckon it was about two thousand and. When 2002, okay, 2002 was 2003 was about then, and I was coming to New York all the time because I had that record deal with Columbia right. Records, and I met this girl, and uh, we were hanging out a lot, and she said, "Why don't you come and live with me in New York?" <laughs> and uh, sure. I just how oh, I ended I was, up here. I'm kidding. Okay. That, yeah. No, no. And, and that you know, I just I just said I, I wanted to get out of London. I'd been in London for 20 years, and I was getting bored of London, and it. New York was a much more exciting place to be than London at the time. And I just, um, I kind of let, let, you know, I jumped at that chance. And, you know, I came over and we were together for a few years and I kind of got my green card and we got married and all that stuff. Oh. Um, it didn't work out in the end, but I was, I, I was able to stay here and I got my citizenship and all that stuff. So it, it was completely legitimate. It just, you know, it just, just didn't work out f for me with, with her, but... Uh, that was about 2002. Well, I'm glad you did. Um, and um, I, you, do you ever miss England, or, or I mean, in, a, in terms no, of I don't, I, I don't really miss it. I, I mean, I miss the family and my brother and my mum and dad. You know, the fam, uh -huh. my family was still around. I'm going back. I got, but I try to go back a couple of times a year uh -huh. and uh, see everybody. I think that's as much as they can take of me, and probably me and them. So. But I do miss them, yeah. But, you know, with Facebook, FaceTime and telephones and stuff, I can keep in touch. And uh, luckily, everybody's in good health. And uh, I get back every, you know, twice a year at the moment. Well, um, Rockwood on Thursday. Um, no, you said City Winery, excuse me. City Winery, on, I was thinking of live at Rockwood. Uh, yeah, so City Winery Thursday, I've got... I'm doing the thing. With, I'm doing a few other things, but the thing, the thing they're private. I'm playing the Turning Point on the fourth of December. Where is that? That's a, that's a little gig in Piermont. So I play on my own. There's a nice little show. I do that. 
And um, I don't think there's any more band shows till the end to the end of December. Right, and then you got the New Year show. Okay. Yeah, I mean there are a few things, and maybe some some things will come in. Oh, I'm playing the uh, 11th Street Bar on the, I think the 18th, or Tuesday the 18th. I think that is of, of November. Yeah, there's a few things. You know, they're on my website. You know, or, right? Of course, people page. can. It's very easy to find you once you're yeah. on your James newsletter. Madden, you can James subscribe. James Maddock Music is my is my my Facebook page. Say it again. James Maddock Music. Mm -hmm. And you can people can subscribe to you and they and uh, or and also on their Facebook on the Facebook group, and there are a number of groups that fan groups um, and um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, uh, oh, uh, do you and I'm I moved up to the Hudson Valley for a little while, you know, and dot dot dot. I don't know how long. I, I mean, I I love it here right now. I'm I'm I'm, I'm loving it being up here. And, you know, there is a, uh, not too far across the river and down a little bit, there is another city winery there. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I'm from uh, Montgomery, New York. Um, yeah. Have you played that place? No, I, I have not. I, I went there to see Brian oh. play with the weight in the summer. Okay. It, was an out, it was an outdoors thing, but I didn't see the inside. Is it nice inside? I, I don't know. I haven't been there yet. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm getting myself geared up to go to some live shows again. Um, and of course, up, you know, we're between Bearsville and Woodstock, which are pretty close to, they're across the river from where I am. I'm on the east side of the Hudson River, you know, near like between some halfway between like Rhinebeck and Hudson. I don't know if, how familiar you are, but, um, but Woodstock and Bearsville, I, there are, there are venues there, boy. For sure. Gotta, I've got a book the you there. I've got a book you there. I, I, I should get up there. I've been trying to get a gig at that new place in Bear, in there. Uh... In Woodstock, yeah. the, the Bearsville Theater. Thing, yes, right? that's what I mean. I wanted to go see Sarah DeRose there because she's got a, this beautiful voice. She's spectacular. She's beautiful. It's like, um, mm. yeah, no, I think you'd be great there. And you know, you can visit, of course, the Lee Von Helm uh, grave is uh, there at the shrine. There's a shrine to him there. I don't know if you're familiar oh, okay. with that. I played at the barn last, you know, a few months ago with uh, Scotch, open for Scotch Gerard a few times, you know, so. And, and the radio station up there really good right. to me. They they support me a lot. That Woodstock radio stuff. Woodstock, you mean, or the yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. Well, you're perfect for that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Um, and um, I will. I'll, I'll email you, and you can if you have extra. If you're if you're there, just sitting around collecting dust. I'm not gonna. I'll send you. I'll send you. I'll, I'll <laughs> email me your address, and I'll put some in the post for you. Uh, that's very lovely of you. I'm so glad to meet you, and then um, I'll, I'll when I'll come by and I'll say hello at the next time I come see you play live. Please do, please do. Well, absolutely will. I'll buy you a drink. I'll buy you a drink. All right. How's that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll see your drink and I'll raise you too. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. All right. Thanks, boss. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.